my lifelong involvement with Mary Dempster began at 5.58 o'clock p.m. on 27 December 1908, at which time I was 10 years and 7 months old. Who knew something as simple as a stone could have such a changing effect on me? I surely didn't, Headmaster. But I often wonder what would happen if that stone never hit Miss Dempster. It was my fault, of course, that I understand. I dodged out of the way when he threw it. But still, I wonder. Would, would my life have been better? Who killed boy Staunton? Do you know what, what he wrote? Headmaster? You served? the school well according to the lights in your day and generation do you know what he wrote headmaster let me tell you well Thou good and faithful servant. Thus I became a member of Magnus Elsenbrun. I suppose one might say I was a stone's throw away for having a completely different life. Hm, I like that. A stone's throw Schoolmastering kept me busy each day. Have you ever heard of the story of Jiggs and King Candalus? I thought not. Well, Candalus was a king of Lydia a long time ago. He was so proud of his wife's beauty that he insisted his friend and Jesus could see her naked. There are two versions to the story how they end that is. One is that the queen took a fancy to Jiggs, and together they pushed Canals off his throne. Oh, really, Denny? Not much chance of that here, is there, Leo? You'd find my throne a bit too big, Denny. Who killed boy Staunton? The usual cabal. Himself. The woman he knew, the woman he didn't know, the man who granted his inmost wish, and the keeper of the stone and his torch. Oh God, Packer, who cannot know and could not conceive that I have been cast by fate in my own character for the vital though never glorious role of fifth business. I, I am Dunstan Ramsey. I am the inevitable.